What's up everybody, Jason Moss here. Today's video, this is for my real estate investors. This is video number two of our Investor Carrot Tip Series. Uh, once again, my beautiful wife is gonna go over everything with you. Today, we're gonna show you how to change the favicon on your website, okay? Also known as your site icon. If you don't know what that is, just keep on watching the video. Also, resources in the description below. If you don't have an Investor Carrot website, sign up using our link, send us the receipt, okay? And we'll give you access to our bonuses. Also, if you already have an Investor Carrot website, get in our Facebook group, okay? Get in it today, request, um, the link is in the description below, um, but send a request, we'll get you in there. It, we go over everything, we have awesome conversations in here, how to do different tips and tricks, how to do designs, how to build certain things in the design elements. They use Gutenberg in there, how to uh, place scripts on the website, set up your notifications with SMS, how to make a, a chat widget work, all types of different things, okay? And of course, SEO for the Investor Carrot website, all right? Do those two things and I'll see you guys in the next video. Investor Carrot fans, today we're going to add a little bit of pizzazz to your online presence to help you stand out from the competition. We're adding the favicon or site icon to your carrot page. It's super easy. It is great for standing out on mobile and it also gives you a very clean professional online presence. So from the dashboard, we are going to go over to design. Then we're gonna hop into branding. You probably already have your logo uploaded in here. If not, go ahead and make that change really quick. And then it's super easy. You're just gonna click on the custom site icon and you're going to upload. Just so you know, you do wanna keep it around 512 by 512, just on size. If it's too big, it won't work. If you need to resize your logo, go ahead and hop on over to resizeimage.net or we also use simpleimageresizer.com. Both work really well. So go ahead and select that image and hit publish. And then you'll pop on over to your site. Of course, we wanna show you what it looks like when it's live. And there you have it right there. That favicon or site icon is now updated. Again, this is also also great on mobile um, because as you're scrolling through, that little icon does show up. And especially if you have competitors in your local market that also use a carrot website, if you all stick with the same generic content, you will all have the same icon there. By changing your site icon, it'll help you stand out against that competition. If you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments below. You know we're always here to help.